You know their slogan, where shopping is a pleasure, but what you don't know is how Publix does it. All new at 10 tonight, we get an exclusive behind the scenes look at how they stock and open a brand new store. And there've been a lot of them lately too. Every department has to be ready for the grand opening. Yeah, this is a finely tuned machine here talking about 60 to 80,000 items. Everything you can think of from pineapples to popcorn. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers and photographer Robin Carter got exclusive access behind the scenes to see how the secrets of Publix opening a brand new store. The checkout line at Publix. Like clockwork an obsession with detail. Everything down every aisle, every product, everything is perfect. Publix is one of the fastest growing grocery chains in the nation. Good morning, sir. Their secrets to staying on top. It is a lot of hard work. We, uh, we don't unlock the doors and it all happens like magic. Maybe not magic, but success close to supernatural in the supermarket business. Bertoli Organic Traditional 284. We got exclusive access. It's set to the planogram. To see their company culture. There is a rhythm and a method to our madness. And their systems in action. This is my Bible right here. <laughs> as they get a new store ready for grand opening. The sunrise comes with 14 days to stock and open the new Publix in Trinity. 45,000 square feet empty. This section will be for our wine aisle. District manager Patrick Helm says empty is about to change quickly, but first he needs shelves. Lots of shelves. A mind-boggling 2.7 miles of shelving. Just the beginning. The dinner entrees is zero. We'll have pallets, we'll have groceries all over the store. Pallets arrive in a seemingly never ending stream, delivered by tractor trailers from Lakeland. It takes 40 semis to fill a Publix of this size. And to open on time, everyone has to be on schedule. At every single day, and moment and hour, everyone knows what's going on and what needs to be done before they go home for the end of the day. Health and beauty products go up first, produce last, and a lot in between. It's all about planning and having the right people in the right spot. The right people are teams of public employees. They pull from different stores all over the region. Laura is an assistant manager at a store in Mulberry. She started 25 years ago. My family works for Publix. Uh, aunts, uncles, grandmother, cousins all work for Publix. And uh, I guess it was like born into my blood. <laughs> From best workplace awards to word of mouth, Publix has earned a reputation for its company culture. They believe well-trained, long-term employees are a big part of their success. But with just a few days to grand opening, they need to turn it up a notch. We'll probably have about three or 400 people in here just setting groceries on the shelves. All kinds of soap, all kinds of soup, and everything else. On average, there are between 60 and 80,000 items in a Publix. And every single one of them has to go on the correct shelf. No mistakes. They know exactly what they're gonna be doing. It's all execute, execute, execute. We got to see one of their secrets. It's called a planogram. So this, this is a planogram, and it reads from the bottom up. We've agreed not to show the planogram close up. It's a trade secret. Everything in this store is gonna be set to a planogram. Everything. Yeah, we're gonna have to space it out. The planogram tells them how much product gets how much shelf space. It's based on public sales data, and the demographics of the specific community. Another public store may look the same. But each store is different. We set these stores up for demographics so we can take care of your Pacific customers in this area. So each one is gonna be catered so a little bit different. As the store fills up, anticipation builds. Everything that you see going on in the store now is planned to the nth degree. Not just what's in the store, but who's in the store. It's a brand new Publix, but there won't be even one brand new employee. They've already been working in other stores, learning the Publix way. To make Publix where shopping is a pleasure, they understand all of our culture. The culture Helm discovered when he started with Publix at 14. It's like a family, he says. And everybody cares for you. They care about your growth, your development. They care about who you are as a person. 
They want to see you succeed. Success at this store will depend on how quickly they can finish working the plan. Choreograph, it's, it's organized chaos. And the chaos is about to bloom in the produce section. Because our product is fresh, we don't receive our produce the very last day. Every Publix gets a delivery of fresh produce every day, seven days a week. But this Publix opens tomorrow. Ruffle it up there, we want that fresh look there. And Keith like Pelego wants produce to be the star of the show. While meat may be the center of the plate, produce is definitely the center of attention. I like how you fanned out the yellow squash. The produce guys want perfection, but they need it now. It is very stressful for us though, because we're down to the very wire there. The last chance to impress, to clean, and then clean some more. It's certainly organized chaos, and when it's done, you really kind of have to step back and go, wow, look at that. Just in time. Publix grand opening is the Disney World of grocery stores. More than 100 people lined up to be among the first to walk into the 1,112th Publix, with subtle differences that build on the same systems, the same culture. Opening a store isn't easy. We go through so many changes, you know, the highs and the lows, but they're all good for us. This is Publix, it's what we do, it's who we are. It's how they turn an empty building into a Publix. They're already getting ready for the next one. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Now, Publix isn't done. They're planning nine more new stores already for this year. And the next ones where we'll be opening, we're told, in July in Arcadia and also the Villages. Very interesting busy, to busy. see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can you imagine Such... almost three miles of shelving? No, no. Yeah. It's so choreographed. It's yeah. interesting to see from that angle.